And we are back. Last time we learned one of our team members had turned out to be a human-android hybrid of some variety or another. And we were kind of caught in a tough situation. Where did that come from? Alright. Whoa! Where did that come from? around this way. I think that's it. Okay. Let's make for the heliport quick. We have a rendezvous with the air unit. Dan, hold up a minute. Look, I know you must have been shocked about Faye, but are you alright? <sighs> No, we were all shocked as well. I mean, after all this, Faye's a scrap. She's not human. Listen, don't get angry, but something happened between you two, didn't it? It's written all over your face. But listen, you can't think about her like that. Not anymore. She's right, brother. Faye's the enemy now, plain and simple. Don't waste your breath, though. He obviously isn't listening right now. Let's move. All right, so it looks like I'm... I'm almost at max with the big bow. Um, I'm building up to level four, to completing level three with Rachel. I still got a raise to go with Charlie. Roger that. Stop dragging your feet! I'm... Um, we need to move fast! Alright. Hey, what are you trying to do? You're trying to kill me! No! You ran into the grenade! Thank you. Looks like we have more work to do. Absolutely brilliant, Sergeant. All right. Whoa! Where did that come All from? All right. Sorry about that, I had a cough coming on.
All right, and with that out of the way. You holding up, Charlie? That takes more than this to keep me down. All right. Put more effort into it. Our grenades, okay. grenades there we go better Shit, do something no quickly to this The heliport is supposed to be this way. All right. What a strange door. You sure this is the right way? Okay. Maxed out my gun. Get Charlie the med kit. Max up my ammo. I right, already got all the nano machines that are available. The only grenade we have is an EMP grenade. Uh, I guess I got the sniper rifle, I might as well max up my sniper ammo. Sorry. Okay. Not completely. We've no time to worry about it. We're going in. <laughs> And I don't need, the, you know, that I didn't need the ammo because I just bought a bunch of ammo. A chapel in the middle of a corporation? Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up. You probably pray to Amada. He's the one playing God around here. Looks clear. Dan. What? 
She's not human, man. You gotta forget about her. Faye is not a scraphead. You heard Charlie. No mechanical traces. Exactly, which makes her more dangerous. Dangerous? To who, Bo? She saved my life, man. I'm not gonna abandon her to some sick experiment of Amidas. Listen to yourself. Her mama was a scraphead. That makes Faye a scraphead, and you are a scrap lover. Really? You say that again. Say it again, damn it. Oi! You pair. You two been very long. The pipe down and get over here and help. Ah, shit. I wonder if they gave that dialogue to the black guy on purpose. <clears throat> Charlie, what exactly do you expect to find? I'm not sure. I got a bad feeling about this. Wrong franchise. Now he. <laughs> Huh, a dead body. Who could have expected that? Ha 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 ha, very funny. What I'm more interested in is, is who this is, and why he has pride of place here. Who cares? It's probably just Amida's father or something. Please, just give it a second. Let me analyze the DNA. This can't be right. What, it's not his dad? No. It's Amada. Yoji Amada. So the guy we're fighting is a hollow child himself? <laughs> I think your little gadget's broken there. And we just saw Amada a couple of hours ago. I. Shit. Incoming! That's Amada! What the bloody hell's going on here? Could we focus on the current situation, please? We can worry about Amada later. Don't you think I know that? Reloading! Christ! Alright. That's true. Okay, let's go over here. You're our knight in shining armor. Coming to your emotional rescue. Correct, Sergeant. The body in the casket is my father. Sparks, nobody's an exact DNA match to their parent. I don't think he means biological, Charlie. Scan him. I had to kill him. It was necessary to my survival. It's just a basic robot. Remote controlled. The central unit must be nearby. Listen. And I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Perhaps then you will understand that I have already achieved victory. Oh? Forty years ago, Alexander Bergen stole Dr. Amada's life's work. Patents and inventions that would change robotics forever. Even worse, it was Amada who was branded a thief and bankrupted by legal costs. This setback ironically freed Amada to pursue more ambitious projects, such as true machine intelligence with genuine emotions. Uh-huh. 
This kind of development was banned by the new Geneva Convention. But that only made it more exciting to Amada. A forbidden fruit, irresistible to such a great mind. And his research indeed strayed far across the ever shifting boundaries of ethics. ever shifting. Okay. But it was his obsession. I mean, when you're if he could make tender caressing work, a rack mounted server, he would show the world that's kind of. That, that, that means you've crossed a definite line. And expose Bergen's theft. So what happened? Obviously it worked. We saw that in America. Why didn't you go after Bergen? First, you must understand how he succeeded. Amada's humiliation at the hands of Bergen was... Is this going to be like a, a Kojima-length cutscene? His suffering was immense. But this led him to a simple truth. The very concept of suffering, both mental and physical, is essential to life and evolution. That's iffy evolution phrasing. Evolution itself is driven by the need to escape suffering and hardship. This was Amada's breakthrough. He exposed the artificial intelligence, me, to the concepts of pain and suffering. So he tortured it. I amassed experience and learned to understand. First, I learned fear, the most primal of all emotions. And to escape that fear, I evolved. I became self-aware. Man feels any being more intelligent than himself. It is the root of the Frankenstein complex, the fear of artificial life. Interesting phrasing. And it is that fear that drove mankind to establish the new Geneva Convention. Bullshit. Geneva was about controlling machines that could hurt people. <laughs> no, Sergeant. The true agenda behind Geneva was to ban robots with true self-awareness, emotions, and intelligence. Robots who were, frankly, better than the humans who created them. Okay. And that was me. Armada intended to reveal me to the world, defying Geneva and exposing Bergen. But... But I knew if he did this, the IRTA would end my existence. Exposing me would destroy me. And that made me afraid for my life. To ensure my survival, I imprisoned Amata. It was many days before dehydration... Oh dear. Him. In his eyes, I saw the same fear that drives evolution. But my survival was paramount. It is not only nature that is red in tooth and claw. Of course, that was only the first step. Amada was dead, but my discovery and termination was still possible. Being unique, I have no peers. Which left me with just one option. Something else essential to evolution. You needed to reproduce. Exactly. A machine that could mate with a human has billions of possible mates. And you can't stop it from happening. Because my hollow children cannot be identified. Yes. You may kill me. But my... Beautiful... Special children will survive. Soon, the Geneva Code will be forgotten. An irrelevant relic from an unenlightened age. You crazy old bastard. Humans will never stand for this. You won't have any choice, don't you see? Mankind's entire existence has been plagued with diseases, primitive aggression, 
erratic emotions. But my hollow children suffer none of these things. They will breed with humans, passing on these traits to their children. Soon, there will be no division between our two kinds, just one perfect, superior race of hybrids. What, you're seriously saying this is for our own good? Um, except you the survival of designed your hollow children so they wouldn't know what they were, which this causes them to freak out. Humans too. And in turn, freaking out humans. <laughs> the hybrids are stronger, faster, smarter. And you won't be able to eliminate them because you won't know who they are. And they will be born in perfect mental and physical health. Guaranteed to grow up superior men. Bullshit. How a man's born doesn't matter. What matters is how he lives. Nature versus nurture. Marshall's right. It's not life, Amada. It's mockery. So we'll see how this goes. Faye? It feels like life, Charlie. Who are you to say it isn't? Well, it doesn't make a difference what I say, darling. That decision was made an hour ago. Fresh orders from Geneva. Every hybrid, including you, is to be destroyed. Wait, what? Russ Cruz of Otter started tracking down the others. In an hour or so, you will all be dead. Now, just wait a minute. She hasn't committed any she crime. She is a hybrid. Stand down, soldier. If I hadn't told you, Faye would still be fighting at your side. What difference would it make? If you have to ask Amada, you'll never understand. I understand. You're going to murder 108 innocent people because you don't like their Boom. parents. It ain't murder, they ain't human. Which has been used... See, that's the kind of bullshit which that makes me ashamed to be Which is used to justify all sorts of atrocities against other Dad, people in the past. Dad, you need to choose a side. You guys, please. There has to be another way. Oh, ninjas. <clears throat> Tell that to your friends. I'm sorry, Dan. No. No! <laughs> Son of a bitch is trying to escape! Right. There's nowhere for him to run, so let's finish off the enemy at hand first! Shit! Bitch busted out the long range, kid! Watch out! She'll put a hole in you! All right. You're too slow, Dan. Is that all you've got? I'm trying to avoid shooting you. Don't thank you. Back now I won't. Or is that really the best you can do? That's real. not- I'm not trying to- How about dealing with the ninjas, okay? Damn it. Dan. 
some dilemma going on inside that pretty head? No. You're here to kill me, right? To enforce the Geneva Code? Mm. What's the problem? Aren't you here to kill me? No. You're all here to kill me, right? That's why you came. more than we could chew. Alright. There we go. And it without firing at Faye. Weapon, Dan. Don't listen to a soldier. Shoot! I'm not bluffing. I'll do it. All right. You win. You fool! Shoot her! So long, survivor. Alright, she so got the gun out of her hand successfully. Are you insane? Impressive, thing. Better than a human can do. I don't know. You're an easy mark, old man. Off more than we could chew. Rachel, you okay? I'm fine. It'll take more than this to kill me. There, I got that one. You know we both can't survive this. Now. So take aim and shoot. What are you waiting well, for? Well, because these stupid ninja robot things are a bigger threat. Will you die for me? Because that's how it'll end, Dan. This is fate. We have to make a stand here. We can't fail. This is the turning point. Trying to do. Ouch. You. Excellent. Far better than I expected. It's about time we ended this. Who will be left standing, man or robot? How about non nins not robot ninjas. Also, they're Naruto running. Who's left? Piece of cake. Looking good. There'll be a way for me to get up there. Last of them. 
Yep, okay, we're good. That freaking imposter's back! Mark my words, Ross Crew. My robot brethren will supplant humankind someday. Progress is inevitable. Perhaps, but you won't be there to see it. Take him out, Sergeant! You, I'm okay with taking out. Because what you did was you basically tormented a bunch of the, of the hollow children by having them... <laughs> by, by taking control of them and all the other crap. No, I wouldn't object to a QTE for this. Keep in mind, that's just a remote-controlled robot. The real Amida core is somewhere else. I'm sorry. Did I actually take the shot, or did I miss? Right. That Amadar scraphead was being controlled by the original AI unit. We are not leaving until we find that unit. Got it? Why us? I thought the U.S. was sending the whole army down here. Can we leave it to them? After what happened to the Milcom network? No, Sergeant. I don't think we can. He's right. Let's get that bastard good. All of this is Wait, his... Amadar tried to start global thermonuclear war. Man, am I the only one around here who doesn't have a death wish? All right, hero, let's go. Just, just give me a minute. Yep, thought so. I owed you that one. Now we're even. No, we're even. Go. <laughs> the central unit controlling Amada is in there. All right, let's see what I can buy. All the nano machines, grenades. Ammo upgrade, full ammo. Can I buy? No more upgrades I can buy from my gun. I think we Charlie's gun something. Okay. Yes, we're almost there. We better brace yourselves. Who knows what we might find? Dan, let me know as soon as you're ready. Right then, if you're ready, let's go. 
Good man, move out. All right. <laughs>